Michael, for a number of reasons. How good did that win feel? Oh, it was great. You know, as I mentioned pregame, I know a lot of the hoopla around the game was about uh, Nicole Yoka versus Joel Embiid, and I understand why. Uh, two dominant big men who are both MVP candidates, but, you know, for us, it was just important to get a win. You know, obviously, we did not uh, want to lose three games in a row at this stage of the season. Uh, unbelievable atmosphere. Start the game. They came out blazing, and uh, all, all game long, we just kept on reminding guys to stay with it, stay with it. Uh, I thought how we closed that first half was really important, Mike. Uh, and, and you think about it, first quarter, we have seven turnovers for 10 points. The rest of the game only has seven more for six points. So we finally settled down, took care of it. And then the first quarter, they shot 60 from the field. After that, quarters two through four, they shot 36%. Uh, our bench was incredible tonight. Uh, Bones Highland, I think he had around 500 people representing his hometown here tonight. Uh, and he showed up. He, he had just a great game, hit some big, big shots for us. DeMarcus Cousins hit some big threes. Uh, and I thought Jermichael Green, our defensive player of the game, was just fantastic. Uh, let him close the game because he was having that kind of an impact on the game. So, uh, yes, very big win. Great way to start off this three-game uh, road trip. How important do you think the message, the, the physical message that both DeMarcus and Jermichael sent in that fourth quarter was? You guys also went 33 22 in that last period. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what you love about those two. You know, uh, they bring not just skill and talent, uh, but they bring size, physicality, and an edge. You know, that, that felt like a playoff game. You know, that, that was like a game that you can see late in the playoffs where every possession matters and physicality matters. To have two guys with the experience that both Jermichael and DeMarcus have um, and, and not afraid to mix it up, uh, you know, that, that's invaluable for us, especially when you surround them with, you know, we have Bryn, we have Bones, we have Austin. You got two big guys like that. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's tremendous to, to, to have that on your team. Were you exaggerating? 500 people? No, 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 no. Uh, we saw it in Summer League, you know, I mean, Bones travels. Let's get busy. Uh, he had people, I think Nick was telling me, he had people from the fire department that was involved with, you know, the, the incident that happened when Bones was younger. So it wasn't just Bones and his family and some friends. It was like a community effort. And, and you know one thing about Bones, he reminds me of Will Barton in this regard. He takes a tremendous amount of pride in where he's from and the people that have helped him get here. For, for him to have that game, uh, 21 points, uh, 7 to 14 from the field, it knocks down four threes. And for a young kid in this atmosphere, fearless. That, that's one word that I would use to describe on time. Uh, coach, the bench scored all the four points in the fourth quarter. It's like a start is going to a third day to go. The evolution of the What do you say about how far yeah, well, just starting with tonight, Chris, I obviously it was um, – I rode those guys deep into the fourth quarter because they were playing so well. But that's the biggest challenge when you have a bench unit in the fourth quarter of a big game playing great basketball, and you're always saying, well, when do I get my guys back in? Because if you sit them too long, are they going to – we can't afford for you to warm up here. Every possession matters. But uh, tonight they were incredible. And um, – on the season, you know, the bench was, you know, somewhat of a mystery early in the year. A lot of that had to do with there was a different lineup every night. Lately, I think, you know, the Bones, Bryn, Austin, Jermichael, DeMarcus, the reason that bench is a lot more consistent and effective is that those guys are playing together every night. We have a set rotation when we're healthy, and those guys are learning to have to play not only with each other but off of each other. Uh, I give Aaron Gordon credit, by the way. You know, he not feeling well. He tried to tough it out was throwing up at halftime, was throwing up after the game. Uh, so hopefully, um, you know, he, he's ready to go in a few days against Washington. But that speaks to Aaron's toughness to try and even go out there and give it a go. Um, go ahead. Do you want to talk about the Jordan as well? Should I take the audience? How do you adjust? Do you have to play a game or your Yeah, it's – you know, you're, you're, you're going against one of the more dominant big men of the NBA. And uh, just like every night, no matter who the other team's best player is, you don't put that responsibility on just one player. You know, it's not, hey, Nicola, it's your responsibility to guard Joel and beat. It truly takes a team effort. It takes five guys. Same thing they were doing against Nicola. It's on the, his, his main matchup. The other four guys have to help. And I thought we had some pretty good examples 
throughout the night of, of giving that help, double teaming him at times, trying to get the ball out of his hands, because we know going in, the one thing we can't afford is for Nicola to get in foul trouble. If he's on the bench, that does not usually go well for us. So uh, it, it was it was a team effort. You know, you have your hands full. And they played last night, overtime game. They fly back late. You know, so we had that going for us tonight. That was in our favor. And we've been on the other side of that throughout the season. But, you know, Joel and James, that, that team, as they continue to get healthy, uh, you know, they're, they're having a great season. Doc's a hell of a coach, and uh, they're, they're going to be a tough out. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, everybody.